And good morning, humanity. It's uh, April 12th. Uh, no, it's not. It's April 19th, <laughs> 2021. And it's our favorite time of the week. It's Mondays with Bev and Paul. And hi, everybody. My name's Paul. Good morning, everybody. This is Bev. Hey, hey. Hello, Bev. I'm a week <laughs> behind here. Things are moving so quick. <laughs> I know. It's true. It's true. Hey, everybody. We hope uh, that you're having a good day today. Uh, I'm trying something new here, and I'm not sure I can receive your postings or your messages. Try and do that over there if you can. Just say hi. I'll see if I can respond to it, the comment section. But otherwise, we're going to talk about why skin on skin. You got skin in the game? Wasn't that a, a statement? <laughs> you got skin in the game? Skin game. <laughs> It is. So, you know, BioTouch is one person touching another on the skin. First thing we want to do, though, is uh, thank uh, Charlene Bar Barron uh, from Bonita Springs, Florida. She took our training this weekend. We had a bunch of people and they canceled out, but she wanted to do it. So Eileen yep. and her did the training. Uh, they had a wonderful time, a couple of computer glitches, but uh, she's actually a nurse, has her own uh, nurse advocacy program. Great. Out there in Bonita Springs. This would just be perfect for that. I know. And it was funny, too, her whole thing about, you know, I was starting to do touch things with people and getting these amazing results. And Yeah, uh, it's perfect. I'm so excited for her and for us to have her uh, part of uh, sharing BioTouch in her community. Right. So uh, let us move into turning off the phone. <laughs> first things first. <laughs> All right, there we go. And uh, we're going to talk about why skin on skin. And uh, we have some research. We have our little scientific proof of why we do it. And, and so one of the first things we'll talk about is, yeah, what, why do we even say that in the beginning? On the body, two fingers lightly on the skin. Well, you know, we, we've discussed this before, but I, I think uh, this show, I'm going to um, kind of repeat what I have thought for a very, very long time. And, and we've actually mentioned it before that BioTouch is a divine idea. And the reason I say that is because the whole foundation of this technique is based on love, a divine essence that that comes into the consciousness of humanity. Now that consciousness is held in what we perceive as a physical body. We, every single one of us that's here in this family group called humanity has a body. You know, you've mentioned many times what uh, the Dalai Lama has said, if you wanna know, <laughs> if you wanna know about people, look at their bodies, okay? so. Yeah. These are the, um, the holding places of something greater. Let's say it that way. This is why I believe that BioTouch is here at this, this transitional time, this, this time of tension that is here to move us forward in our consciousness. We've talked about that many times. So literally when we use and practice BioTouch, we are stimulating the memories at those cellular memories in the body that eventually leads to what we call self-awareness. It's, it's opening up all of those different aspects of ourself that respond to love. Everything responds to love. And I think this is the, the, the greatest uh, reason that BioTouch is here. It is to not just remind us, but to stimulate us into who we already are and have forgotten who we already are. So there's many, many, many different um, aspects of BioTouch that just keep, you know, right. expanding yeah. for me all the time. So why don't you tell everybody why you came to what what you did yeah. this weekend? So uh, I worked on a dear friend of mine who was having a problem and uh, very anxious, was feeling sick, you know, thought he might have COVID or whatever, but you could feel the anxiousness. And I'm like, okay, let, let me just work. Yeah, first thing I told him, what, and we'll talk about that a little later. Well, you can work 
uh, by thinking of somebody doing the points on you. I think the main thing we always want to get across is uh, our theories of, you know, we're saying why skin on skin. We're just giving you more theory. You know, what we do know is that it, it, there's an effect of touching on the skin different than if I did uh, thinking about people. Only right. because we're sentient beings. You know, and there's a difference. But I was able to work with him. And uh, then I said, okay, I'm doing the greeting. And I did it, you know, and I could feel myself sighing as I'm doing it. And then I, okay, I'm going to do uh, the lung set. And I told him, okay, now I'm doing step one. And I'm, you know, and then I'm doing A and A of the headset. And I could, I noticed a couple of times I was sighing. And when we were done, he was much calmer and it, his body felt, you know, he said he felt much more relaxed and wasn't anxious and was able to breathe more. So I don't know, you know, it, it's sort of like they're, they're documenting that prayer is effective. And so those are all thought processes too. But uh, when you, the, the difference between that and touching is, is profoundly different. And we're going to share some of that. One of the things we wanted to show was some of the research we showed. Gary Schwartz at the university did a research project where he had students learn BioTouch and then do them on, and they were all neophytes, do it uh, uh, off the body, what they call energetic healing, uh, through the skin, and then on the skin, these same BioTouch points. And one of the questions was, how cared for did people feel? Uh, and one of them was stress. And so as you can see here, the stress-related uh, the blue line is the pre-stress levels, and the dotted line is post-stress. And you can see non-contact had a reduction in stress. Through the clothes had more reduction in stress, but a huge reduction in stress uh, when it was on the skin. And one of the other ones that we did was feeling cared for, and this is very significant um, in the sense of if you can see here, the solid line is how cared for people feel before a session and after a session. And you can see BioTouch had a huge, uh, on the skin, a, a huge uh, rise in feeling cared for. And the interesting thing was non-contact, they felt less cared for. <laughs> Pretty cold. <laughs> yeah, so there, yeah. you know, there is something as sentient beings on this earth plane and as you said earlier, you know, the Dalai Lama says, yeah, if you want to understand the oneness of humanity, look at bodies. That's our agreement here, you know, right. and right. and uh, and so learning that today with with uh, my friend about touching uh, long distance and thinking about it. Hey, you know what? That's what we learned through this pandemic. Uh, I was you just going to say the, you know, um, as I was saying before, the body, the physical body really holds the consciousness. That's the connectedness between humanity. It's not the bodies that are connected, but that, but the, the technique of BioTouch addresses the body. Uh, and this is really important because um, it's unlike a lot of other techniques. It is meant to address the body where all of that consciousness is held. Right. You can't, you know, you, you, we actually have something tangible to touch. Not to mention the fact that when we are in that, uh, in that practice, we get, just get to be present with another person. We've talked about this many times, but when in the, during this pandemic, we've offered what you were saying about with your friend that you could actually think about doing those points on him and with this presence. So you're still caring and giving love, even if you're not actually having physical contact. Right. Of course, you know, the perfect scenario is one person touching another person right. on the skin, but we do have that. Um, and, and the important thing that. too, was I was picturing his body. Yeah. You know, so there's still this common denominator between right. all of humanity, um, that we spend our life protecting. Yeah. You know, well. <laughs> we were talking about that with Eileen, you know, I was talking about how taking the, the vaccine, I felt really good, you know, and she said, well, maybe it's cause you have less fear. And I realized 
everything I do is for less fear in for relation to this fear. body. I, yeah. I'm afraid. And, and so this waking up to my fear, and that's what BioTouch does. It, it meets people in that fear. It does, you yeah. can't get rid of it. No. If we live in a body, we're, we have fear. And BioTouch meets us in that fear. It says it's going to be okay. And we touch that body that's very fearful. You know, it's trying to wake Fragile. up. Fragile. Yeah. And it allows <laughs> it to unfold its story. Um, it, it's, it's an amazing technique. You it know, is. And, it's, and it's 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 not, just love. Yeah. It's just and that's what happens with love, right? So everything responds to it. So we always love to share with you our scientific proof of why we touch on the skin. You <laughs> yeah. know? And so uh, we'll just show it to you here. We have the video of this. <laughs> this is the reason that we touch on the skin. This is our scientific proof of why BioTouch is most effective to touch on the skin. Okay. And this is a little ping pong ball that has a circuit board inside, two little batteries, and then these two metal clips come out, okay? Now, if I just touch the two ends of the clips, the ball lights up, okay? Now, nah, not a big deal, okay? If you touch one of the clips, and I touch the other clip, and I touch on the skin, and we hold hands, the ball lights up. <laughs> oh, you said, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Touch that again. Now, interestingly enough, if I try to do energy work, right, and I do it off the body, we can't get the ball to light. If I touch through the clothes, I can't get the ball to light. But the minute we touch skin to skin, the ball lights. That's just the beginning. If everybody would hold hands all the way around the circle, oh. no, no, you do not hear that. <laughs> We're gonna hold hands. <laughs> All hold hands there. <laughs> Sam's gonna hold one of the tips, and then the minute I touch the other tip, the ball lights up. Now you break over there, Rick, and touch again. It's so immediate. Immediate, yeah, yeah. immediate. You can put a hundred people in a circle, and the minute we all touch skin to skin, the ball will light up. That is our scientific proof of why. We do buy a touch on the skin. Thank you very much. <laughs>
uh, on the news. On the news. <laughs> and then they started were giddy about it, you know. I but know. they did. They reached over and touched. <laughs> That's what we need, you know. Yeah. And yeah. strangers can touch one another. I mean, we need touch. You know, you want gun control? Start touching one another. Oh, Lordy, you yes. Know? Or it doesn't even have to be controlled. But we need to take we need to take all that energy, all that separation, all that fear, and yeah. we just need to reach out and touch. So please yeah. join with us. Help us pass on this very simple, loving touch to humanity. It's so simple. You go to JustTouch.com. You can just download the greeting right there or play the videos. We've got tons of videos on our website. All these shows, we're always showing you how to do another set of points. Uh, it, it can't get much easier. We have classes, okay? This week, we have our uh, health condition workshop. Health condition workshop. On arrhythmia. And take note of how you spell that. A-R-R-H-Y-T-H-M-I-A. <laughs> Yep. And uh, we have that with Eileen Webster. She's our go-to uh, registered pharmacist, certified practitioner, has her own business up there in Dove Mountain, Arizona. Uh, she's always a delight to have share her she incredible is. knowledge base. That's yep. going to be 6 p.m. Arizona time. You figure out what time that is for you. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Arizona, you know, people, well, are you mountain time or say, no, no, we are Arizona time. Arizona time. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't go with the time change. So that's 6 p.m., but there'll also be emails. If you want to get on our email list, just go to the website, sign up just to get on the email list because we always send these out. And right. uh, she'll talk about arrhythmia, what it is, how it's perceived. And then we'll teach you some of the BioTouch points to take care of arrhythmia or any heart condition for that matter. Uh, yeah. Our next virtual training, May 11th, that'll be on a Tuesday, 9 a.m. to 4.30. Uh, again, we're going to offer one more class of the 20% off for massage therapists. Just put in there Massage 20. And uh, we'd love to teach you that. We have Denise with us from Turkey again. So hi, hi. Denise. Good morning. <laughs> Our One of our certif newly uh, yeah. um, certified practitioners. Yep, yep. So that's what we do. We touch on the skin. We want you to reach out and touch someone today. Please just take the two fingers and just you know, do it to yourself right now. Yeah. Just, just feel lightly that, that touch. lightly touching on the skin. You know? It's beautiful. Do those points on yourself. Think of somebody doing it with you. Okay, this is about relationship. Yep. You know, this is not, you, you know, and it's not about going to some expert out in the field. You are the expert. And whoever you show it to will be an expert. You know, you don't have to be Norman Cochran or myself or Bev or any of the instructors. You have everything it takes the very moment that you take those two fingers and touch another human being. True. Well... Anything else? We could take a little time to teach some points, but we're running out of time. Actually, yeah. I'm going to just show that here. We're going to just show you the first step of metabolism. The, the metabolism, metabolism set, set can be used to help the body assimilate, assimilate what it needs and eliminate what it doesn't need. The metabolism set has two steps. Step one involves touching points in matching fire along the large muscles on the front of the neck. Points one and one are located above the collarbone in the soft indentations on both sides of the notch at the top of the breastbone. Points two and two are halfway up the neck on the front of the large muscles. Points three and three are at the top of the, the neck, neck on, on the, the front, front of, of the, the large, large muscles. muscles. So you get a chance to see it. That's what we call matching fire. Lightly. That also works on all that thyroid issues oh, that you can have and neck absolutely. problems that are affecting the thyroid. So uh, learn more about it. Go to our website, justtouch.com. Uh, we always like to keep this to 20 minutes so we don't bore Bev and myself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh please. <laughs> right. We could talk for hours. But we are going to leave you, and we will see you hopefully Thursday, or we will see you next, next uh, Monday. Monday. And yep. uh, in two weeks, we have a very special guest. We hope you'll join us for that one. So, Bev, thank you much. Thank you, Paul. And, and uh, have a great day. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.
I can feel the pain and sunshine or rain. So it's not caused by the weather, but it doesn't hurt that much after I feel your loving touch and we spend some time together. You take my pain away each and every day. You're an angel from heaven on high. Your butterfly touch helps me heal so much, and I get better as time goes by. You take my pain.